In this lecture, we will discuss about the single source shortest path. Suppose a situation wherein uh, my college, ABS Engineering College, is uh, organizing a conference in which it is expected that the uh, people will come from various places and uh, will either deliver their talks or will present their papers or will just attend the conference for the knowledge. If we consider that uh, this conference is organized by uh, EBS Engineering College in association with some government agency and the government agency is offering government agency has uh, actually offered to pay the traveling allowance to all the participants who are coming from the various places but a constraint has been applied here that everyone who is coming from uh, the various sources they will be paid by third AC of the shortest distance from ABS Engineering College obviously uh, everyone will be making its plan by some different means maybe that uh, somebody is coming through the uh, uh, by air some of them are coming uh, by the second AC or the first AC some of the people are coming from the uh, different paths for example if I say uh, I have to travel from Varanasi to Delhi then there are various paths from between Varanasi and Delhi you can come from Varanasi to Allahabad and then from Allahabad to Kanpur and then Kanpur to Delhi so this is one of the path and then there, there is another path you can come from Varanasi to Pratapgarh then from Pratapgarh to Raibadeli from Raibadeli to Lucknow and then Lucknow to Delhi then from uh, Varanasi to Faizabad and then from Faizabad to Lucknow and then Lucknow to Delhi another path is there uh, in between Varanasi to Lucknow sorry Varanasi to Delhi you can go to uh, Jaunpur city and then from Jaunpur city to Sultanpur and then from Sultanpur to Lucknow and then finally Lucknow to Delhi so there are four different ways uh, by which you can reach to Delhi I'm not saying to uh, stop at Allahabad then stop at Kanpur and go to Delhi it's just like uh, if you are picking up a train then the train is either taking you from this route or from this route or from this route or from this route so uh, there are four routes and obviously the distance of uh, all the routes will be different so what we have to do we have to find out the shortest route of all these available four routes and ABS Engineering College will pay somebody who's coming from Varanasi through this route by the shortest route incidentally the Varanasi Allahabad Kanpur and Delhi route is the shortest one so ABS Engineering College will pay you by this so if I suppose that this is a graph and uh, in this graph these are the various station and let's say ABS Engineering College is this S station and uh, we have to find out the distance of A, B, C, D and E from the source ABS Engineering College so the, up, the method that we can apply here is the single source shortest path because the source is defined here Right? the source is defined here so this is the single source shortest path for finding out the single source shortest path one of the method can be applied as take the distance of source as zero and consider that the distance of every other vertex is infinite right? this the distance of source is taken as zero and distance of every other vertex is taken as infinite the method that I am going to follow is much similar to what we did in the Prim's algorithm so let's take a priority queue insert every vertex in the priority queue S A B C D and E 
while in junction we will be setting up the distance of every vertex the distance of source to source will be zero from abs engineering college to abs engineering college it's a zero kilometer or uh, zero kilometer or you can say that the cost that you will be paying for from for going from source to source is zero and we have considered that the distance of every other vertex initially has been taken infinite right? so this is the vertex or the uh, or the station and this is the distance we will be setting up the predecessors so in almost every uh, graph algorithm we have seen that setting up the predecessor is very very essential so uh, we are deleting the source vertex here which is having the minimum distance and then we explore that from source we can go to a or to b there are two connections from source s to a and s to b the cost of this edge is 5 and cost of this edge is 2 meaning that i can reach from source to a with a distance or with a cost 0 plus 5 so the uh, distance of a can be set as 0 plus 5 means 5 and distance of B can be set as 0 plus 2 that is 2 predecessor of A can be set as S because we have explored A from S similarly B is explored from S so its predecessor is set as S fine the rest of the vertices and their distances will remain same in the next step we again delete the smallest distance which is of vertex B. Now let us see the connections from B. The connections from B are B to A. Let's say its distance is 8. So we have already found that the distance of B is 2. We have updated the distance of B2 and distance of A is 5. So if I have to go to A means because the connections from B to A we are looking at the connection from B to A so forget about what earlier path we have seen another path is shown as if you have to go from B to A it means ultimately you want to go from S to A so you have already reached from S to B and then you want to go from B to A so the cost of the entire path means S to B and then B to A will be distance of B plus the cost of this edge so this will be 2 plus 8 that is 10 but the distance of A has already been set to 5 meaning that this 10 distance is not less than 5 and we are interested in finding out the shortest path so this way there will be no ablation and the distance of A will remain 5 fine another path which is going from B to D there is an edge between B to D it has a cost 7 the distance of B has already been set to 2 meaning that from S to B the minimum distance is 2 and then from B to D it is 9 so 2 plus 7 we can set here 9 it was infinite here 9 is less than infinite so we can set 9 here so distance of D has been updated as 9 and since D has been explored from B so its predecessor will be set as B. Now we are going to delete the minimum distance uh, vertex that is A. Now the explore, if we explore the vertices from A, so the paths are A to D and then A to C. We have already found that the, dis, uh, the distance or the cost for reaching to vertex A from source is 5. So let's first explore this. AC edge fine so 5 plus 4 can be set as the, the distance of C because distance of C earlier is infinite so 5 plus 4 9 can be set as the distance of C and there is one more edge A to D the cost of this edge is 2 so 5 plus 2 7 7 is less than 9 Fine, so we can set up this distance as 7. So 5 plus 2, 7. So distance of 
d has been updated as 7 in this step and distance of c has been updated as 9 here. And since these two vertices have been explored from A, so the predecessor of these two vertices should be A. Right? Now out of these three, we will again delete the shortest or the minimum cost uh, vertex which is D. If we do the exploration from D, there is only one edge which is going out of this D, which is this one, one distance. The distance of D has been set as 7, so 7 plus 1 will be 8, this is infinite, so we can set up this as 8. So distance of E is 8 now, and the predecessor of E will be set as D. We will again delete one vertex from here which is E out of 8 and 9, 8 is shorter. You can see that there is no nowhere I can go from E. There is no emerging edge from E. So no updation in the table. Next time you, when you delete this C with 9, there is no element remaining in the queue. So there will be no updation also. Although there are uh, some edges which are going from C, this one and this one but there will be no updation because we have already deleted all the vertices from the queue. Now let us see what we have achieved here. If we form these vertices as in the table, this is source, this is A, this is C, this is E, this is B and this is D. The quantities inside can be written as such. These quantities are actually representing the shortest distance of these vertices A, B, C, D, E from the source S. And what path we are actually going to follow will be through the, these predecessors. We can find this through the predecessor. So th the source vertex has no predecessor. From for A vertex, S is the predecessor. So S to A there will be an edge. S to B there will be an edge. A to C will be an edge. A to D there will be an edge. D to E there will be an edge. You can see that if you have to go from, uh, from source to C, the path is source to A and then A to C. If you have to go to D, the path is source to A, A to D. If you have to go to E, then S to A, A to D, and then D to E. This is actually 7. Fine. So this way we can find out the single short source shortest path. Now let us try to write the algorithm for the same. Algorithm will be very much similar to <coughs> the Prim's algorithm. And uh, this is single source shortest path. The method that we have followed is called as uh, the Dijkstra's method. D i j i k s t r a. And uh, suppose a graph is given, the weight matrix is given, and the source vertex is also given. So in the Dijkstra's algorithm, graph is given, the weight matrix, which will be a 2D array is given and the source vertex is given. Given a graph means you know what is the set of edges, what is the set of vertices or you can say that you know what is the adjacency list. So the very first thing here will be to initialize all the vertices. Initializing all the vertices mean you, up, you set the distance of every vertex as infinite and you set the President, uh, predecessor of all the vertices as nil. So for all u that is element of vertices of graph do you have to set the distance of every vertex as infinite and predecessor of all the vertices as nil. Fine. Let's take a priority queue as we did in the principal algorithm we will have to take a priority queue. 
so we have taken a priority q let's say the priority q is pq now let us initialize this priority q such that it contains no elements initially and once you have set up the distance of every vertex insert this vertex in the priority queue so pq insert in the priority queue you have to insert a vertex u once you have initialized this and inserted in the priority queue you have to set the distance of the source vertex as 0 fine what you can do that uh, uh, you can exclude the source vertex for setting up the distance here in this loop so for all the vertex that is the the part of the vertices of the graph minus source and then you set up the distance of source separately and the predecessor of source also separately and then what you will do you will delete the vertex from the queue so let's say the extract minimum operation is the uh, operation that we are following for uh, deletion of the vertex so let's say the vertex that we that is removed from the priority queue is u you will see all the connections going from u if let's say this is the u then you will see all the connections going from u one by one that connection is taken as let's say v uv is an edge so you know the distance of u and now you have to set up the distance of v what we will have to do the distance of u is something distance of v is something and there is a cost of this edge the cost of this edge will be w u v if we add the distance of u and the cost of this edge and if this quantity means adding up the distance of v plus the distance of uh, plus the w u v means the cost of this edge if this is less than earlier distance of v then we can update the distance of v as du plus w v fine or earlier we have some value let's say this is infinite and then there is some distance here of u vertex let's say it is 7 and let's say this is 4 the cost of this edge is 4 so 7 plus 4 is less than infinite so we can update the distance and now suppose the distance of v earlier is 17 in this case also the distance of u is 7 cost of this edge is 4 7 plus 4 is 11 and which is less than 17 so we can update the distance of v vertex as 11 and obviously since v vertex has been explored from u predecessor of v will be set as u so uh, for uh, what we will do that we have deleted this vertex and then we will say for each v that is adjacent to u but there is a condition that this vertex should be element of the priority queue it should be there in the priority queue then only we can update this if this is not in the priority queue we will not do the updations so for each v once this will be taken v this will be taken v next time this will be taken v next time so for all v that is adjacent to u we are going to perform an operation you just see if distance of u plus the cost of the edge that is w u v is less than the earlier distance of v vertex then we have to update this we will update this by distance of v is equals to distance of u plus cost of this edge w u v and the predecessor of v vertex will be set as u so we are doing it for every connection from u finally we have to perform this miss once we have deleted once this operation has been performed and then we will again delete it means this operation is a repeated operation so we will do this we will keep on doing this while my priority queue is not empty 
So by the time there are the elements in the priority queue, you will keep on doing so. Once you have no element in the priority queue, the operation will stop. Fine. So this is an algorithm. So let us write the keyword algorithm here and a begin keyword here and the end keyword here. So this is the algorithm for single source shortest path dice trust. If you once again see what is happening in this algorithm, we have been given a graph G, the weight matrix which is a 2D array containing the distance of distance between every pair of vertex and the source vertex. We are taking a priority queue, initializing the priority queue such that initially it contains no element. Then we will uh, set up the distance of every vertex. So for all the vertex which are the part of the graph but not the source we will set up the distance is infinite predecessor of the vertex is set as nil and we will insert this in the priority queue distance of source is set up uh, separately as zero because source to source distance will be zero predecessor of source will be nil and yes obviously we have to insert this after this we will insert this uh, vertex in the priority queue as well so pq insert priority queue and source. The source is also inserted in the priority queue. This is this was left out. Now uh, by the time priority queue is not empty we will be performing some operation. We will be deleting the minimum uh, distance vertex from this priority queue. Let's say that is u. We will see all the connections going from u. Taking, taking one vertex at a time as v so for each v that is adjacent to u but that v should be the, the element of the priority queue if that is not there in the priority queue operations will not be done if the distance of u plus the cost of this edge is less than the earlier distance of v so if du plus wuv is less than dv then we will update the distance distance of v equals to distance of u plus cost of this edge and obviously since we have updated the distance so the predecessor will also be updated. The predecessor of V is taken as U. And in the uh, question we have seen that these, uh, distance, these predecessors are actually telling us which path to follow. And these distances that we have set up here which will be available in the distance, uh, distance array is the final distance, final minimum distance. So if you carry out this operation and uh, this operation, when this operation will be completed, then we'll be uh, we will be having the distance of final distances or shortest distance between source vertex and every other vertex. So this is the single source shortest path. Fine. You can take another example to understand this uh, concept, uh, single source shortest path. When you book a Ola cab or the Uber cab for uh, uh, going to a destination, then your source is fixed, your destination is fixed. The Ola and Uber finds out the shortest path between the source and the destination selected and it follows that route. Obviously it will be uh, thinking of some other ways also or some other uh, parameters also. But if we say that those parameters are not neg negligible, then in that case, it is going to select only the shortest path or the shortest route from the pair of the station. Thank you.